Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be yet another cash stuffing. So today I did get paid from my new job as well as my last paycheck from my old job. So it is a bigger amount of money that we will be stuffing, which is unfortunate because then I still can't figure out what like the average paycheck is for me. But that is totally okay, I'm not complaining. So as you can see, I do have another little sinking fund holder but I did just split the envelope since there was a lot but another thing is you guys we hit 1,000 subscribers literally thank you all so so much I have already been getting together some stuff for the giveaway which will be announced in my next cash stuffing however I will give a little like disclaimer that you will not be entering through YouTube this time it will be through Instagram since that is where I contact you all but again there will be more information in the next cash stuffing so anyway, before I make this video any longer than it has to be, let's just go ahead and pull out my planner. So if you don't watch my budget with me, you definitely should because then you'll kind of get to know the reason behind all the numbers that I will be stuffing. And I did also tell you guys to leave your email below on that video and I will go ahead and send you the Excel as well as PDF for the um, paycheck spreads that I use. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and go check out that video. So we did pull out $429, however, I have the remaining cash um, over here in my wallet because we do have a total of $480 that we will be stuffing today. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle this money in super quickly and then we will spread it all out and get started. Okay, so now that we have all our money laid out, we are going to start with our wallet because we over here on this side of the swamp like to stuff our um, cash envelopes first before our sinking funds so let's go ahead and pull all of these out except for the back to bank because I do tend to pull that one out for some reason so surprisingly enough you guys we do have some money left over in my actual cash envelopes which literally never happens um, if you're new to this channel but to begin we are going to start with gas gas does still have its entire $15 I think that's what I originally stuffed I don't actually remember but gas is going to be receiving $20 which I want to say I did in 110 and two fives So now gas does have 10, 20, 25, 30, and 35 dollars, which is correct. And that is also a good amount of money to have in there. So let's go ahead and stuff our gas envelope. So if you are new to my channel, these cute little mini envelopes are from the Planning Dancers Etsy shop. So all of her stuff will be linked down below. Please make sure to go check it out. Um, she's super sweet and I just literally love her YouTube channel. So next is giving. Um, if you are new here, giving is also a sinking fund. So I don't typically stuff the mini envelope. It's just so I have a place to take the money with me. And then drinks is going to be getting $3. So we have one, two, and three going in there okay so next we have food and food does have some money in it I am NOT going to be rolling this over so the five is going to go towards one of my sinking funds which we'll get to later and then the ones will go to my dollar saving challenge so we're just gonna set all that over here on the side so food as always will be getting its forty dollars so that's a twenty a 10 and then two fives okay so food now has 20 30 35 and 40 dollars since it is a new week Oop, why is my money getting stuck okay so then after food we do have personal personal as always will be getting its ten dollars Then after that we have groceries which is getting 15 so I am going to start letting my grocery fund roll over because my boyfriend and I do want to have a really large Sam's trip before returning to school so I have to start putting a bit more money in here um, just so I can kind of match what he's trying to save for that trip. And then toiletries will be receiving just $5 if in case I notice that I need some extra stuff for school. Let's go ahead and put this in here. So my babe does have $10 left in his envelope. His money does always roll over um, just because he does the same for my envelope that he has for me. So now in here he does have $20. 
Next we have date night. Date night does have some money in it, which I'm also not going to let this $10 roll over. So that will also be set to the side. And we are just going to stuff it with $10, which I know is kind of like stupid, but it'll make sense when we get to where the money is going to be going. So there is the $10 for date night, and that is all of my cash envelopes stuff. So now we're going to go ahead and move over to our sinking funds. So to begin, we are going to start with my new little binder, which I got this from Amazon. I will link it below since that is typically where I will link everything else. So to begin, savings is my dollar saving challenge, which is going to be getting these three ones that were left over in my wallet. So just kind of put these in here. So we'll take this little envelope out just so we have it here. Beauty is going to be getting one dollar. So let's go ahead and count this money. So it has one, two, three, and four dollars in here now. I did make new um, envelopes, of course, for all my paper ones just so that they matched a little better. Clothing will be getting ten dollars this week, um, which I hope to save so I can buy a couple of clothes from Goodwill before school. So there is $15 in clothing. Maybe not Goodwill, actually. I might go somewhere else. I don't know yet. I really just need jeans. So new car is going to be getting $7, which I know is like a super weird number, but it's just, it's all I could put this time. So that's what we are going to be adding. So now new car has 20, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60 dollars, which is really cool. I like when it's like even like that. It just feels good. So there is new car. So next is Reno. Reno is just going to be receiving its same one dollar bill that it always gets. But again, I love how everyone thinks this is a good idea. I actually got it from Budget with Jenny. It was not an original idea, so all cred goes to her. So Reno does have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven dollars, which is progress. It is progress. So there is renovation. Next is wedding. Wedding is going to be receiving five dollars. I think I'm going to make five dollars its new minimum, just because I feel like it would have like greater progress so wedding now has 20 30 40 45 and 50 dollars in there so next is school school is for anything school related however I did already buy my school supplies I thankfully and I'm so grateful for this I don't pay my own tuition if you watch my budget with me you know what this envelopes for but this is where my extra money is going to go into that I have left over in my cash envelope so school does have $15 and I mainly did that this week just because I forgot to budget for it in my paycheck spread um, but that's okay so now this is going to be my 52 week challenge and this is going to be receiving six dollars so now in here we have let's see 5 10 15 20 and 21 dollars in my 52 week challenge so i did get this envelope from giselle's stickers like i think it was a sample that she had received that she sent it with my order or she sent it with my order which i'm super grateful for because it's so cute but now that we did that saving challenge the next one is going to be the 100 envelopes and we did draw 16 however we also drew this rule that says add an additional five so for the 100 envelope challenge we are adding 21 dollars so here is my half and then my boyfriend when he gets home will be adding his 21 into this envelope so this will just kind of sit in my desk and wait for him to get home. So next in here we have loans. And loans is going to be receiving $11 because since I am several months ahead, I am just going to be adding the normal amount that I have to per week because my monthly payment will be $44. So let's go ahead and add this in here. So now in loans we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, and 91. So 191, is that correct? Um, let's check. So we had 180 last. Oh yeah, plus 11 is 191. So let's go ahead and put this back in here. 
So next is phone bill. Phone bill will be receiving $40 this week because my payment for this month will be $110. That's with the service, the upgrade fee, the actual fee for my phone. So now we have $20, $40, $60, $80 dollars towards our phone bill. So we're pretty much on track because it's not due till the 28th. Um, so there is phone bill. Then retirement. Retirement will be receiving $7 as always. So we have a five, six, and seven dollars. So now in retirement we have five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen dollars. Which is pretty cool if you ask me. And so lastly, this envelope here is just for rollover um, slash extra money. But since that stuff is going into my school envelope right now, we do not have anything to put towards this envelope. So that is all for this first little binder. And now let's go ahead and bring out my second one. So here is my second cash envelope binder, the OG. Um, well, I guess not really the OG, but whatever. <laughs> So first we do have pets and pets will be receiving $5. I have to get all their stuff ready before I go to college because they will be staying here at home I'm pretty sure since I don't know what's going to happen with the semester. But pets does have $20, 30 40 45 50 and $55. I did use some money from here which I don't think I updated. No, I didn't. Oh yeah. Yeah, I did update the tracker. So there is pets all stuffed. Then next we do have medical. Medical is one of the ones that just receive a single dollar um, because I don't really like care for it. I just kind of have it to have it. So now medical has 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 dollars in there, which is pretty good. I'm so glad that it hit even 20 because that just sounds like a good amount of money to have. Next is car maintenance. So I still don't know to this day <laughs> how much the labor fee is going to be that my dad's going to make me pay. But anyway, car maintenance will be receiving $17. So this is 10, 15, 16, and 17 dollars. So let's go ahead and add this in here. So now car maintenance does have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 109 dollars, if I counted that correctly, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah. So 109 in car maintenance. So next is electronics. Electronics is going to be getting six dollars, which wow, it's not getting just one. So let's grab a five as well as a one dollar bill. And so now in electronics we have eight dollars, which is a lot better than before. Um, my boyfriend does want a record player and he's not telling me I need to buy it for him, but I think I want to. So some of the money from electronics as well as his gift envelope will pay for that. So next is giving. Giving is going to be receiving a $5 bill, which means that I'll probably move these ones into the giving envelope in my wallet. So there is that. Emergency, yes, emergency is receiving $65. I'm so excited for that. So we did that in 20s, I'm pretty sure. So let me just set this down really quick. So we have 20, 40, 60, and then $5 for emergency. So let's go ahead and add this into here. Where are the 20s? Okay. So now emergency has 50, 100, 50, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, and 92 dollars. $492 in my emergency savings, which that literally means we're almost halfway to our goal of 1000 which I never even thought I would be this far at this point in the year. So that is insane. Um, I know someone requested I do a video where I count like all my sinking funds, which I will probably do that in the near future. So next is entertainment. Entertainment is going to just be getting $1 one dollars <laughs> one dollar so now it has 20 30 31 32 33 34 and 35 which is a pretty good amount happy with that 
So next is travel. Travel is getting $20. I looked at the paper wrong and I thought it said one. I was about to cry. Um, so travel has 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 85 dollars. So 185, which is a good amount because we're not going anywhere anytime soon. So next is my babe, and he will be getting ten dollars into this envelope. So let's go ahead and add that in here. So now he has 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, and 95. That's a little underwhelming because I totally thought he was going to have $100 at the end of this week. Um, but that's okay. So next is Christmas. Christmas is going to be receiving $20. I think I might switch out the 50 though. Just so Christmas isn't like hard to count. So anyway, um, yeah, actually I think we're going to do that. So there's 20 and 10 and then I'm going to grab the 50. The 50 was originally for a different sinking fund, but I don't really think it matters that much. So, let's go ahead and count this. So Christmas has 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. So 240 dollars in Christmas, which is again correct. So I'm so glad I put that second 50 in here. That helps a lot. So there's Christmas. Um, gifts is going to be receiving seven dollars. So let's just grab that super quick. So five, six, and seven dollars. Okay. So now let's put this in here. So now my gift fund has 20, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, and 55 dollars, which again is a good cushion. Um, I never really get super big gifts for birthdays anyway. I like to go all out for Christmas. So next is Disney. Disney is going to be receiving a $10 bill. So let's go ahead and grab that. Oop. So now Disney has 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, and 68 dollars. So 168 dollars for Disney, which I just had to double check that was correct, but it is. So next is home, which is my move out fund, and this will be receiving 70 dollars. So this is where the 50 would have gone. Um, so we have 20, 40, let me see. Do I want to get a 20? Mm, yeah, that's fine. 20, 40, 60, and then $70 for home. So let's go ahead and do this. So now home has 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, and 41 dollars. So $141 in home, which sounds correct. I'm pretty sure it's correct, yeah. I just, I don't feel like using my calculator. Oh my god, this video is so long. What the heck have I been doing? Okay, uh, next is concerts. Concerts is going to be getting $1. So let's go ahead and put this in here. So concerts has five, six, and seven dollars, which is good considering I add a dollar every time I get paid. Then next is business, and business will be receiving $20. So now it has 21, since like I said, I've already been purchasing stuff for the giveaway. So I do have to start saving for shipping now. But there are all my cash envelopes stuffed. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Again, thank you all so, so much for 1,000 subscribers. I'm literally still in shock. I don't know if you guys like believe me or not, but honestly, I promise you, like I am so in shock and I'm so excited for the giveaway I'm going to have for you all. So anyway, please make sure to give this video a big old thumbs up, comment, subscribe below, go check out my other videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.